Hi, Susan Blue Robot here again with another quick help lesson from the forum um, for Make the Cuts Pop Up Card Studio. A question came in on the forum uh, Is it possible to make side folding cards similar to this? So I'm going to do a quick demo of it. I'm going to do a cute one, not a Halloween one, but just so you can get the idea of the different things you can do. So we'll get started. I've got my card. It's uh, 5 inches high by 5 inches wide. And first off, what we do is we bring in a roof. So uh, with the Bezier tool selected, we bring in the arches. We take this all the way over to one so it's a straight roof and the split mirror and we give a roof say about this big this high and it's got I've left mine at 10 um, uh, steps so it's 10 up to here and 10 down so there we have it so now that's two sides, so it's two pieces. So if I move, if I move this away, it's in still in two pieces. So what you do with them both, sorry, with them both selected, you go weld, and there you have your roof. Now what you do is you bring in a square and you put the so what I'm doing first off is I'm building the actual structure of my house this way so I can get them centered. No, I wanted that one. This aligns them so they're both centered, this button here. Now I go weld and that welds them together. So now what I can do is turn it 90 degrees and I can first off trim off this side of the house and I go put the bottom plane. So there if we turn this around there we have our house. Oh what I would have liked to do and I made a mistake so you can watch me do this. All I do is take that from that plane, I go cut. I want to move this plane to a two inch plane and I go paste. So now I'll just take, I have, at first off it was an inch from the back but I wanted it two inches from the back so I could do the fence around. Okay, now what I do is I want to bring this down this way a bit so it's lower to the ground. And now it's just a matter of now building the anchors from it's it's on the bottom of the plane building the anchors from this to the back of the card so you go take off the split and the two point wreck you need and you hit the space key bar and we're on this plane I'm not going to put a um, oh yeah I think I will hang on so zoom in when you click there click there. Hold the control and shift and go down a level, click there and release and then click to the diagonal when they've both turned dotted. Down so we go to this plane that's now yellow, click there, click there, down, click now I don't turn it around but you can easily just turn it so it's in your view by using the right mouse and the um, mouse ball and you go you hold the down to the next one click click control shift down arrow click click down shift arrow click here Click. A few more to go, and this is in real time. You can take your time. I I've been using 
the program for testing so I've got used to it but you can't just get the program and think you can do things so as quick as this but I want to get the video done you can pause at any time or rewind back to see what I've done click here and click there so now we have our house that's joined okay now what we need to do is we're going to put a fence here now um, not until I looked at this question this morning I realized that this hinge down here is going to be a magnificent thing so I'm going to have me fence come here and turn the corner and go there so first off we'll build the fence I'll just do a quick fence I'll bring in a kite I'll bring in another um, square and we'll build the fence so first off the picket fence this is just you know it's probably not what a picket fence looks like but it's my quick and easy version of a picket fence I've seen people do elaborate picket fences we go well that um, make it a bit smaller no okay so now we go duplicate and we don't want it to rows long and we go across we wanted a bit more spaced than that and we'll say we'll give us eight go accept now we need to join those picket fences together so I just bring it excuse me just bring in another square and I make that say this big by as long as we need it bring it down a bit of course you can surf the net for um, fences and bits and pieces this is just a quick and easy so I don't have to go looking for one select all them and do a weld so there's a quick and easy fence looks like candles but okay now what you do is you turn now I, what I will do is I'll turn off the snapping and just make sure that both ends here have a solid line just in case the picket part was a bit over the other one okay take the um, I'm getting into the habit of turning the snapping back on um, now I turn this 90 degrees and we zoom in we zoom in here well that's a bit big fence right now I've said in my other videos that you keep your design area under this under this um, line here well we're going to keep it under the top of the card and I'll show you why right what we're going to do is we have put the fence in place make sure it's on that plane it's on the side of the it's on the side of the house now because I've put it to the bottom plane which means that's the least next bottom plane to where we fence is and I've just moved it hang on sorry put it to the bottom plane okay so now with that selected it's on I hope right it's now on the plane of the house so it's connected to the house anchored to the house I mean right now this is over but if we do a hinge what I might do is just bring that down ever so slightly if we do a hinge to this with that selected oh not a hinge cancel 
if we do a fold back and it goes fold back to the back layer and we go accept so when now if we bring this to a normal view we've now turned the fence around to the back so that's slowly building my version of this house here so we've now got the house and the picket fence so this is just to give you an idea you can go and make it a haunted house now we have to put the tree in so we'll bring it to a plane further than the um, the house so we've got 2.25 no, 2.50 5 okay so we're going to put the tree here so I've went ahead and built a funny looking tree and I've brought it in from my your shapes now what we'll do is I will first that now First off, before I turn it on its side, I will just do a clip so it's got a straight edge. And uh, slightly size it. And we'll turn it to 90 degrees. What we're going to do, it's still a bit too big for, for what I want to do. so okay so now what I'd like to do is make sure that's down there to the bottom plane yes and now instead of going all right I'll get a straight edge here and a straight edge there and put it to the tree which you can do that I'll show you a trick if you build if you bring in Bring in a couple of circles. Go copy, paste. Resize this. So say we get into there. Resize this. Shape it. So it looks much like the shape of the trees here. Then we select them, weld them, and I do a trim now of this. So we've got a straight line there. Now what I do with that selected. I do a fold back, fold back, and it asks, do I want to take it to the two inch to the house bit? Okay, yes. Because you've got options, you'd go take it to this layer or take it to the back layer. No, I want to go to the house. You go accept. And there you have your tree, your um, fence, and your house built. Now we'll bring in a door. Um, we need to go to Holding down the D key, select the back the house bit you want. We'll bring in a door to put on that. Um, it just comes in here on this corner. Oops. The lock. Now I'm putting this. I need a height of 0.5. Enter. See, I'm looking at the card sideways here. So you bear in mind that um, this side of the card is now the top of the card, and that's the bottom. So I'm going to hinge this. And we go hinge. I hinge it to the bottom. So when the door opens and shuts like that we go accept and then all we need to do now 
is bring in a square make it little we go duplicate that no we go down to two up to one and spacing is a lot less than that and then we go oops x ah uh, no duplicate that two two way down more instead of pushing cancel I should have clicked accept easy enough done I hope accept Make this a little bit smaller. Do a copy, paste. You want one here above the door, paste one here. Then, if we hold down the shift key, uh, hold down the D key and select on this, I can do a paste and I can bring this over. And I go a paste and I can bring this one over. I can get I can hold down the D key, select this, select them and throw them away. And so now what we have if I take the plane off, this is what we have. A cute version of this um, haunted house here. Um, it's just to show you that anything can be done. You can add your own, you know, cat and ghosts and bats and stuff and give it your own look. So we'll just zoom in a bit here. We do a snapshot of that preview. And there's what the house would look like. Um, I hope this helps the uh, question. Um, I hope you show us what you've done from this uh, pop-up card studio and this um, idea of doing a side opening card. This has been Make the Cuts pop-up card studio. Um, if you have any questions, leave a question on the forum or at susanbluerobot.com where you'll find other videos and other cards which I'll be adding to um, on a regular basis um, thank you for coming if you want to purchase pop-up card studio you'll find a link below this video and um, a link from Susan Blue Robot